5G networks will grow quickly in the U.S. with mobile broadband and the Internet of Things leading the way for Tech Republic and ZDNet. I am Ben Patterson with Connor Forrest. Uh, Connor, so the race to 5G is on. How will the U.S. market stack up against the rest of the world? So recent reports, Dan, have been kind of conflicted about where the U.S. Uh, is going to land in terms of 5G. But according to a recent GSMA report, uh, they have the U.S. listed as a quote-unquote pioneer market in 5G. Uh, their estimations are that uh, the U.S. will see 100 million 5G connections by the year 2023. Uh, and by 2025, just a short two years after that, uh, they'll see 190 million different 5G connections. Uh, as you mentioned, mobile broadband is going to lead the way uh, in the U.S.'s implementation of 5G. Uh, also, the low latency of 5G will allow for the scale out of the Internet of Things. So we'll likely see a lot more connected smart city initiatives, uh, things of that nature. Uh, the additional bandwidth and power of 5G mobile networks uh, will also let us see a lot more experimentation in uh, artificial intelligence uh, and also augmented reality, AR and virtual reality, VR applications on mobile devices uh, and elsewhere. Uh, high capacity, high speed 5G sounds great, but what are some of the challenges that need to be overcome for the network to grow in the US? Yeah, there's definitely three main areas of concern that were highlighted by the GSMA. Uh, the number one being, um, you know, kind of regulation, right? Uh, this is a massive undertaking. You're talking about really changing uh, a huge amount of infrastructure to make this possible. So. The GSMA report calls on, uh, you know, really uh, regulation that prioritizes network operators, makes spectrum available for 5G. That's going to be one of your concerns. Uh, second is going to be infrastructure needs. There's going to be new hardware and software needed to make this happen. One of the things that their report points out is the proliferation of small cell deployments um, and additional kind of network repeaters and things like that to make 5G uh, more readily available, more broadly available. And finally is the economic aspect. Obviously, this is going to require a massive financial investment, uh, and that'll be needed met with policy that supports competition, uh, but also encourages innovation. All right, Connor Forrest, Tech Republic, where can we go to learn more about 5G and mobile broadband? Absolutely. On techrepublic.com, you can find a lot of our similar coverage under our networking topic. Uh, you can also get uh, some of that delivered to your inbox uh, with our Next Big Thing newsletter, or you can just keep up with all of our content on social media. We're at Tech Republic on Twitter. You can also find us on LinkedIn and Facebook.